during the medieval times, a lot was happening, very different from 2020. Uh, he, 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 the, uh, come good friends, uh, doth time for thine, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm trying to say is hello and welcome to another Yes And Anywhere Screen Share visual art lesson. I'm Jenny, but I am not just Jenny this week. This week I am Jenny, the creative scholar and protector of the arts. Because this week, Yes And Anywhere Screen Share is going back in time to the medieval times. One thing I found is because there's so much world travel and new ideas are here and there and this person's from this place and, and oh my goodness, language is a little difficult right now, but I have found that images are, are really the way of communicating. So what we are gonna do today is make some insignias or family crests so that when we introduce ourselves or we make new friends, we go places, then we can just hold these up and it will show what we're all about. So I'll show you mine as an example and then we'll make one together as usual. So a very important thing with insignias or family crests are shapes and colors. So those make up what images we are choosing to represent ourselves. So what I have done is made mine in the shape of a paint palette so that you know automatically I am about the arts. I love visual art and I especially love painting which is why I've chosen a paintbrush and colors to go with. Now think of three or four things that you really find important, that you really love and care about, and maybe the bigger it is, the more important it is to you. Think of the color, so yellow is my favorite color, so I made the whole thing yellow, so that you really know. Really think of your shape that you want. If you are a warrior, maybe you have yours shaped as a shield, or if you are a chef, Maybe it's a giant spoon and fork. I don't know. Up to you. If you have siblings that are also doing this with you, or your cousin, or your best friend, or your imaginary friend, then maybe there's a symbol you can pick together and add it on along with everything else you've done. Also, if you would like to think of an adjective for your name, how I came up with uh, Jenny the Creative. So an adjective just describes you and the way you see yourself. So maybe you want to be the the brave, the smart, the something something. Totally up to you. And if you can, try and think of a adjective that can also have an image that goes with it. of construction paper and I chose to do mine in crayon and then I, I added a little something something with marker so that it was bolder because I realized you couldn't see it from far away so I want to be able to hold this up and let everyone know who I am here in these medieval times. So I've already made one for myself. Um, so I guess maybe I'll make one for Yes And, the Yes And Anywhere screen share, um, so that we can work together for a little bit. How's that sound? I'm gonna choose orange. Should I leave it? Maybe I'll, I'll since this is the Yes And Anywhere screen share, Maybe I'll leave it in a rectangle because it's a rectangle like our screens. That, that is symbolism. I'm gonna get started. I don't use markers, but if you wanna cut out shapes, if you wanna paint on, onto your paper, 
Um, if you would like to do it in invisible ink, it'll big news, everyone. I got the foam scissors. I'm gonna use these. Just I'm gonna give a little flare to my my rectangle. I'm gonna cut out. Uh, I'm just gonna cut around the edge. This feels much more yes and than those just straight lines. Yes and is a wiggly line, wiggly line time. Now that I have my rectangle, I think I'm gonna think of four things that make up the yes and anywhere screen share. And then I think I'll do them maybe one in each corner. Yeah, I like that idea. I'll do that. And if you make a mistake, remember you can just go in the back, flip it over. Or just make it work. Maybe you don't even have to flip it over. How's yours going? I am um, liking what I'm doing. It's um, it's not exactly what I pictured, but I think it will work. And I just like trying, seeing what happens. It's always fun. Really think of what colors are gonna tell a story. We'll make we're making something blue change what it means. We all have different interpretations of things. So the way we use it is what's important. for yes and and I did a bunch of exclamation points and then yes and is all about uh, fun having fun and love and like art and reading and storytelling and music and dancing and then also making friends and then I wanted to show that yes and is all about having fun and so I did sort of fireworks I don't they're not exactly fireworks they're just an explosion of, of happiness and I thought of something because I did exclamation points on here. I am a part of Yes And, and I thought I would add an exclamation point to my, to my insignia. Now I put an exclamation point on my insignia. 
So now that these kind of match, and now when I hold up mine, people will know oh, I'm part of the S and. Okay, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. That's what those can be. These can be sparkles. I should be called Jenny the Genius. Okay. Sparkle you, sparkle me. Time to clean up. Make sure you clear that workspace. Very important. All clear. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, uh, till next, once we, we meet again. I'll work on that. Um, we've, we've got a week. I can, I can probably figure that out. Um, thanks for joining me. Sparkles to you. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.